Hello everyone, and today we're going to go over how to create an equation for your Angry Birds project. So again, we're going to do kind of a quick example. Again, I'm not giving you all the answers. I'm just giving you kind of a process in which uh, to be able to create your equation from to make your lives a little bit easier. So here we go. Okay, we are going to be using something called the intercepts form of a quadratic equation. Hi, Gwen. So we're going to be using the intercepts form of the quadratic. Okay. So, high five. Uh, high five. Mm, all right. All right. So we're going to be using this formula. Y equals a. Whoops. Of course, I didn't turn on my highlighter. We use this one. Y equaling a x minus p x minus and q. Now our intercepts. How nice. Okay, is going to be the opposite of p. So whatever this is. We're going to do the opposite sign of Q, so whatever that is. And then we're going to pick a point on the parabola, and that's going to be our X and our Y. Okay. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to solve for A, and then we're going to come back, and then we're going to uh, put it all together and put the equation into standard form. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. So here's a quick example. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to use, create an equation that has a x, it has a vertex of negative 3, negative 1. And we have x intercepts of negative 2 and negative 4. Okay. So our vertex. Okay. So using our formula. Okay. And. Yeah, we're coloring with red. So our vertex, negative 3, negative 1. Our, our intercepts, from what they tell us, is going to be negative 2, 0. Thank you, Gwen. And then we have the x-intercept of negative 4, 0. Okay, so there's our points. We're going to come to these. These are going to be important. So now let's go to our equation. Y equaling A, A, X minus P, X minus Q. Okay, now that's where these guys come in. Okay, this is going to go in for P, and this is going to go in for our Q. Now, as you notice, we have a lot of variables. We have X's, we have Y's, and A. So, what we're going to do is this is now going to become a point on our parabola. Gwen. So, this is X, and this is going to be Y. So, negative 1 equals A times negative 3 now my p is going to be minus negative 2 from my intercept. Then we're going to have negative 3 minus the negative 4. Okay. Now then what we're going to do is we're going to do the math inside the parentheses. So this double negative goes plus. This double negative goes plus. So negative 1 equaling a. Then we're going to have negative 3 plus 2 and negative 3 plus 4. Okay. So now we do the math out in here. So negative 1 equaling A with negative 1 times positive 1. Now I'm going to multiply all this together. So negative 1 equaling negative 1A. Because a times negative 1 is negative 1a. And times that by positive 1, you still get negative 1a. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. Now at this point, now we solve the equation, we divide by negative 1. So 1 is equal to a. That's wonderful. But that's not what we're looking for. We need to create our equation. So that was just the first part in all this. Okay, 
So now what we're going to do basically is we're going to reset everything. We're going to reset y equaling a x minus p x minus q. But this time I'm going to substitute my a in for a and I'm only going to be doing the p so this negative 2 is going to go here and the negative 4 goes here. I'm leaving x and y's because that's what I need for my equation. Okay, So when I fill this in, y equaling 1 times x minus negative 2 with x minus negative 4. Oh, come on. There we go. Close the parentheses. Okay, now we're going to take care of this just like we did before. So we're going to have y equaling 1, 1 x plus 2, x plus 4. And now to create our equation in standard form, because that's what the project wants us to do, we have to multiply this all together. So I'm going to focus on here first, and I'm either going to FOIL, TOR ATTACK, DISTRIBUTION, whatever you want to call this double distribute. I'm going to ignore this one right now. Dump truck. Yeah, dump truck. All right, so let's dump multiply. Dump. X times X is dump. X squared. Dump. X times 4 is 4X. And now you have 2, Ben. All right, now 2 times X is 2X. And 2 times 4 is going to be 8. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to combine like terms inside this parentheses. So these guys right here. So Y equals 1 x squared plus 6x plus 8. And then to finish, I distribute the a value or this value into the equation. So I'm going to get y is equal to, now since it's 1, it's just going to be x squared plus 6x plus 8. And there's the answer. That's right. That's the answer. This would be your equ equation in standard form. This is what we're going to be looking for in your project. Now, I would strongly recommend that you watch this a few times or even watch it while you're doing the project to help you get the equation correct. All right, so that's the end of this quick video. Hopefully you got a lot out of it. And again, be careful with your, your projects and good luck.